Welcome back to Short and Archive. My name is Wokey, and I'm here once again uh, solo because Zen is actually getting ready for vacation, and <laughs> he started it today, <laughs> and he'll be gone for another week. So you're going to get some more uh, Short and Archive solos as we wait for Zen to come back. It was totally by accident that we have somehow... Uh, been unable to record both the Gintama and the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX things. It just, if you don't know, we only have two days to record, Wednesday and uh, Friday. And on Wednesday, we use that time with D-Free to record the super long Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. If you haven't seen it already, for that specific um, look at that, you should check it out. It's really fun. Um, me and D-Free really liked that movie, and uh, Zen absolutely hated it. So it's a pretty interesting... <laughs> state of affairs looking at the different opinions of all three of us and i think it ends up making a pretty good blend of uh different opinions and stuff but yeah you're gonna have me solo for a bit so uh i'm gonna try and figure out some specific shonen jump topics to talk about while we wait for zen to come back and hopefully in two weeks time mm, two weeks time um we'll be able to get back into the even uh flow of things but for today I wanted to talk about some of the specific Shonen Jump games that have been kind of released, and it's kind of funny to talk about it because it's like, when I say like Shonen Jump games, there's no, well, except for Jump Force, which was bad. Um, I just mean in general, all the Shonen Jump games that have ever been released and some of the newer ones that have come out. And yeah, the reason I want to talk about it is because mainly, you know, Fortnite had its big celebration, and Dokkan's currently having its celebration with um, the worldwide celebration with Cooler and stuff. And it really got me thinking how much, man, how much more I prefer the Fortnite random collab of Dragon Ball than the actual content that's being featured inside the specifically Dragon Ball focused thing. I don't know if it's just a thing of like. Um, the games themselves are maybe not doing it for me. Like, for example, the Breakers. Funny enough, Fighter Z would probably be, uh, or Fighters, not Fighter Z. Fighters would probably be the closest thing that I would be able to get into it, but its netcode is absolutely hot trash, and I have to wait for it to get its, um, rollback. When a very annoying thing in, in Evo, everyone announced rollback to giant thunderous applause. So much so, it drowned out the fact that it was not immediate, and it was like, yeah, coming 2023, not anytime soon, so you still have all the bad net code for such a long time. It's, it's, it's completely stupid that it worked so completely that they were able to basically just go like, eh, coming eventually, am I right, everyone? Yay! Be happy. So, none of the Dragon Ball ones are really hitting it for me. Um, funny enough, I thought really I would get into Kakarot, but just something about the system in place of it, it was like not able to catch me in, but I feel like I have to go back in there and really check it out and maybe I'll get used to the fighting and stuff. Cause in theory, an RPG kind of setting in Dragon Ball is kind of what I want. Um, but the actual battle system itself feels like it's too action focused and I kind of want something less, more dialed down basically, which funny enough is what that One Piece game coming out is going to kind of, it's kind of looking like it's going to be. So I'm kind of interested in that. Um, I'm a big fan of One Piece. Uh, the reason we haven't watched One Piece for the show is because not even I with my big fan of One Piece could probably deal with all the anime and all the crazy filler it has. So we would need to have a deeper conversation about, um... Do we cover filler on Shonen Archive? Because <laughs> we already have for Gintama. Uh, we haven't skipped any of that, and I feel like it kind of needs to be told through the actual linear way of someone that um, who would watch the anime would do it. But yeah, if, if that's the case, then One Piece with its with thousands of episodes would be the biggest. Like, oh god, this is a lot to kind of take in at once. Oh god, and so. We're pushing it off for now. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe they'll release a Dragon Ball Z Kai version that maybe increases the way it looks and does a little bit better with it, but I digress. Uh, funny enough, the best Shonen Jump game probably out there for me is the one that I play basically every day, which is Master Duel, and even that can get a little bit uh, frustrating depending on what deck I'm fighting against. It's really nice to have an actual Yu-Gi-Oh game 
even though the Yu Gi Oh game in question, it's funny. It's really funny seeing how quickly it took for the people who came in from Master Duel to slowly turn into the TCG people. Of like, all TCG people do is complain about the ban list, and then Master Duel players are now well, funny. The, the most recent one wasn't that bad, but it's basically a lot of complaining about the ban list. But it's a really funny mix because you have people from. If you don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! is separated into two factors. It is uh, TCG and OCG, and the people behind Yu-Gi-Oh! Konami, um, they consider both games to be completely different from each other, and it's uh, it's right to think it that way because it's two completely different environments. So we're actually having a weird blend of it in um, Master Duel because Master Duel is like OCG banless, but it has people with the mindset of English so it's slowly kind of warping stuff around like for whatever reason they never blocked stuff like block dragon in Japan but they did for TCG and my understanding of it which has been my understanding since I played the game back in like the 2000s is that the Japanese player base doesn't abuse certain cards to the extent that the North American ones do in the sense that if a card is extremely unfun to play, usually they won't play it, which is why they have Eva at three. But on North America, they care very more about just actually winning, and so they will gladly abuse whatever things that they have available to them. Which is funny, which is what eventually got VFD ban, <laughs> the very fun dragon or uh, true king of all calamities, in the most recent tournament because everyone was just playing true king of all calamities because it was an easy win. It was just like, oh yeah, just shut down all your monsters, boom, I win, virtual world. So they hit them pretty hard. Um, so I'm glad to have that kind of game in there for me. Another one that I'm kind of looking into, um, but I need to be, I need to <laughs> buy it on the Switch and wait for the right time to get it is Captain Velvet Meteor in the Jump Plus dimension. I don't know how this happened, but they actually released a video game based on specifically characters from Jump Plus. <laughs> Not just Shonen Jump. Not Shonen Jump, just literally Jump Plus. So it has dudes like from Spy X Family. I think it has Lloyd. Specifically from Spy X Family, they have Lloyd. I don't know if they have anyone else. They have Kaiju Number 8. It's like the weirdest game that they could have just randomly released on a Switch. But I'm kind of interested to see what it is because it's also like a isometric style of a game. So it's a tactics game more like. So I kind of want to check that out at some point. I actually don't read that many Jump Plus series mainly because in my mind they're all just shut and jump. But I definitely read Spy X Family or Spy Family. Uh, some people call it because they don't want to pronounce the X and stuff like that. Um, so I'm kind of interested in that. I kind of wish... It's a damn shame that most Shonen Jump games are usually arena fighters and they're bad arena fighters. Because I couldn't... W now that especially after Fighters was released, I kind of want them to make an actually good fighting game. <laughs> based off of every character. That roster would be impossible to make. But I feel like anytime they make a 3D one, it's too much like goofy, weird shit, but not in a good way. And sometimes the gameplay is usually alright enough. Like the one on the PS3 I thought was pretty good. But you jump, what the hell is the name of that game? Jump Force? Not really my cup of tea. They kind of lost everyone though after they revealed Light and they said actually you can't fight, you can't make Goku fight Light. And everyone's like, then what the hell was the point of showing Light then? <laughs> Why would you show me something so cool and then not actually pull through with it? Um, but back in the day, back in the old days, like the there's been a NES game that I've been constantly trying to see if I could actually play, if I could ever find it fully translated but it was like a full-on action game featuring like uh pegasus uh, uh kenshiro like a lot of 80s uh like uh, kid goku uh, a lot of 80s specific shonen jump dudes all in like an action game and i really kind of wish they would kind of get back into kind of that stuff right there they don't always need to be arena fighters sometimes just having them on their team is enough for me and that's also probably why i want to really try that that one piece uh, game because it looks like it's a traditional JRPG but with like One Piece dudes which already sounds like like a really weird combination but I'm kind of down to try it. In general I would kind of like them to experiment a little bit more with what they have and like see what they can do. Like my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh games are usually the ones that try to do something weird with the specific formula of Yu-Gi-Oh 
Um, probably the most obvious example is, I think, Forbidden Memories for a lot of people. But I would also say stuff like uh, False Bound Kingdom with its really weird 3D ma map style. It's like not even close to what Yu-Gi-Oh! actually is. That's how weird it is. And in general, I would also like some more games focused on other stuff. It's a real shame they never made a World Trigger video game. Because the World Trigger has like the super detailed like game-like mechanics. And they can never make a video game for it because most video games for Jump Series as a start are gotcha games. And <laughs> most of them don't survive a year. And some of them just don't get released on time. Like, look at all the My Hero gotcha games that have come out and how many have actually stuck and stuff like that. Um, I think there's still a Jujutsu Kaisen gotcha game coming at some point or was released. I don't know. But honestly, at that point, if they're being up attached to a gotcha they may as well just be established to their own because most actual shonen jump series don't have the wa the roster to warrant an entire gotcha of their own and i would include dragon ball in that specific call because especially after dokkan has turned seven years old and the constant recycling of certain characters <laughs> over and over i think someone pointed out because i was like oh yeah the new lr cooler is just the first tech cooler art but way better and then someone said it's also the physical one and i was like holy shit you're right i totally forgot that the physical one also have this exact same pose ah, but i guess in that case there's not like a lot of reference art that you can use for cooler so hey what can you do but yeah for next week i'll think of something else to talk about i'll probably end up watching uh i'll figure out something what, what i'm gonna do either a specific topic about shonen jump or maybe a dub because i'm the only person that watches dubs i think zen refuses to watch his dubs for any animes but i still watch dubs for uh shonen jump stuff so maybe i'll just watch a dub and tell you what i thought about it by the end of it or something like that i don't know i'll figure it out but we're here for solo for another two weeks so kind of sit back i hope you ended up liking this video if you do you can always leave a like comment down below tell me what you feel Tell me if there's any specific topic that you actually want to hear and stuff for Shonen Archive while I'm here doing stuff solo. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day. Peace out. Goodbye. <laughs>